Radio Network. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have a way harder time getting through life than the average person, Ari. I, I don't know why anybody would listen to this. I know I won't. Ari, your advice single-handedly broke up my marriage. You're an awful person. You're 24 years old. Why would I listen to you? Why would you be giving therapy and advice to people who clearly need it? It doesn't make any sense, Ari. This is a horrible idea. You're listening to you listening to unlicensed, 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 unlicensed therapy with Ari Mendes. Ari Mendes. Good morning, Aaron. I got a last-minute feature gig in New Hampshire at a club um, that was the Gold Club. Now it's Millennium Cabaret. Okay. So it's a re-grand opening or grand opening. So they wanted me there. That's and, exciting. Uh, yeah. And what's a feature gig? I, I think I know what they are. It's like, oh, it's but I don't want to say the wrong stars, thing. Oh, yeah. we headline at strip clubs. Right. So, so you go dance. Yes, we dance. And Amongst other things. Right. So it's you go to a strip club for the night. Yes. And, well, not but just But you're like the celebrity. Tonight, you're like, yes. Or for the weekend. Mm-hmm. You're like the celebrity stripper for the weekend. People exactly. come out to see you. Yeah. It's That's cool. Awesome. Is it fun? It is. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Um, it's great because it's a good balance between, because I shoot a lot. Mm-hmm. So it, it'll give me a nice little break and I'll, you know, be able to, you know, dance and then go back and forth. And, and when I'm tired from dancing, it's perfect because... It's a good balance to mix it up. Exactly. Make it yeah, so you don't get awesome. bored. I travel a lot as well to do stand up instead of yeah. to dance. And when I go... Sometimes it's cool because they basically pay you and then you go get to be in this new city for the weekend, have fun and be on a little vacation. Right. Do you prefer to go on vacations where you get to add some work in there to pay for the vacation or do you prefer just to plan a vacation and fly out and relax and do nothing? Well, I yeah. always try to do a little bit of something um, because I have a premium Snapchat, jjsnaps.com. Yeah. That's so right. I'm pretty much always um, on there every day. Right. So even if you're on... A paid shoot or not paid if you go on your own yes. vacation, you're still working. Exactly. I'm yeah. always on my phone, whether I'm texting um, on textjillion.com, it's Sex Panther. Um, yeah, it's it's constant. I love it, though. I One one time I did this year, though, during the summer, I took like two, three months off just from the whole like social media, everything. And I just rested, relaxed, you know, just had some You R&R. just needed a break. I just, I think everyone, you know, we need it to, you Or know. was there anything that happened where you thought to yourself, I'm taking two months off? Oh, no. 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 So, um, for me, I've always taken a break at whenever time I like felt necessary. Because yeah. I'm someone who, I love what I do. I love this industry. I love every moment of it. And I don't want it to wear me out. Yeah. And that's why I do so many different things to always keep my mind going and if I don't like one thing I'll go on to the next thing and it's not necessarily you know not whether I like it it's whether I, I you know just the same thing you get bored yeah, of it totally. you know so I like a variety you and know, it's and nice that uh you do well enough to where you can take time off and do nothing sounds yeah, like you're doing all right you got that money <laughs> I'm actually looking into getting a house right now cool. or a condo um in LA it's yeah yeah so you'd move in into LA it. so yeah. that tells you something um LA just so you know a one bedroom condo is a million dollars or close to yeah, it. yeah exactly and you have to put down like you know at least 10 percent of that yeah you, you gotta know? do the down payment so, the mortgage well that's exciting yeah what so, part of town do you want to move um, to I'm that's my hardest part I'm looking all over the place I yeah, love where everywhere. I am now I don't want to go anywhere near the fires you know I don't, yeah. don't want to feel like I'm trapped anywhere um you know because it's just devastating what happened these last few weeks and stuff and you know, like I, I worked so hard, I, I wouldn't want you know, it to all literally go up in flames. Right. So, you know, I feel for the, you know, those people. And ironically, when I was looking, I was like, oh my God, this is a great house. This is a great price. Let me check the area real quick. Oh, it's on fire. Damn. Yeah. Your dream house got burned to the ground. Right. Oh, like, damn. Hopefully, those people have insurance. So, but a, a friend, you know, did remind me, you know, get a condo, get something that's, you know, less maintenance. Cause you, lit- I'm literally never home. 
Yeah. I barely get time to sweep my own floors. Which I do, by the way. No maid. Um, you don't use. I don't do don't a maid a service. Maid. Are you a clean um, person? Or I don't dirty? trust other people in my house. Okay. <laughs> you're paranoid. Unless if I'm fucking you, yeah. or you're coming over as my friend, like. Right. I, you don't want a stranger in your house. Or yeah, you know, yeah. and makeup artists. Like I'll, I'll have makeup artists and stuff. But wait, why do you have a makeup artist come to your house? Oh, because it's easier for them to just come to me instead of me having to go to them. Oh, so they're not on set when you go. Oh no, they are. No, for me, I have my own company now. I have. Oh, okay, so you I'm shoot your own videos. Own That's sites. exciting. Yeah, for the new year. Do um, so you hire? other girls and guys to Some, come do things. yes so a lot of um girls we do a lot of content trades we mm -hmm. like it i just started so girls if you're out there hit her up um even some guys i do have a really good friend of mine who is kind of my my stable dick i katie? guess <laughs> katie do you want to be in uh <laughs> yes. let's do it <laughs> do wanna, yeah. but i do have you know like um, I work all the time, but I'm not in a relationship, but I you're do single. have a friend that I have a fuck buddy. So you're, you're single, but industry. you have one steady fuck buddy. Yes. Okay. Exactly. But Would you get jealous? Does he or you get jealous of each other? No, no. I'm he totally gonna... understands that I want to be no feelings so or no uh, romance. I just want to explore. Yeah. I mean, of course we love each other in the way that like, best friends love each other and like oh your best friends best friends in okay, the whole world cool. like um of course i have a love for him that i I've, I've 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 never had for anyone but i'm i'm definitely not taken yeah um <laughs> and are you, are you looking for a relationship no i don't want it i want you nothing just, to do with you just want to be sing you just want to be single from me. and live your life <laughs> yes when was the last relationship I, you were in it was when i first started and it actually ruined um a lot of um, well, not really ruined. Actually, I gained a lot of experiences. Yeah, you learn from but it. But ruined opportunities for me. In the, and, in and, the biz? And yeah, you know, it's just people don't realize, but when they're brand new, when they get in, like every girl falls into the trap of some guy wanting to control her. And, sure. and you know, because they don't, girls don't realize, like, we help guys get their name bigger so mm -hmm. in a sense like not always you know guys do their own thing too in a way that get them get you know get them out there and stuff but you know guys look to us and when a fresh new 18 year old that literally just started porn in high school he wants to literally shake you started you. while you were in high school i did that's cool so i started when i was in high school um i was at the end of the junior going into senior year so it was the summer i was bored i was a waitress and i was webcamming and and i got told about um modeling and and doing pornography now and I was like, Let's did you it. did anyone from your high school find out was it like the oh, gossip because yeah. you know yeah. how high school yeah, yeah. is everyone talks no everyone found out and it actually caused me to drop out damn and you know i don't regret it I, I regret that I didn't fight back with my power and be like, fuck you, bitches. I, I'm powerful. I am, you know, I'm getting it, you know? Yeah, you're, and like, you don't, you're not ashamed of what you do. I'm not ashamed. I never was ashamed. But you had to know. But I feel like I should have stood up to my bullies. I was going to say, and you had to know when you started that that could have happened. Right. Oh yeah. No, I yeah. wasn't really thinking of it. I was just thinking, yeah. I mean, going and having fun and, yeah. and you know, it, yeah, it came into different a line of factors. Like, okay, boom, I'm gonna go have fun. I'm gonna have sex with all these amazing model like guys, and 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 I get to have sex with a girl for my first time, and 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 I'm going to California, Dreamland, the place I've always wanted to be. Where are you from? Minnesota. Minnesota. My okay, mom was cool. actually born in California. People are nicer in Minnesota. So yeah, but. Not really, because I mean they bullied me literally out of high school. So uh, that's just high. That, that's just high school. That is that's high school. Yeah, anywhere. that happened at like, any high school. Anyone in high school needs to just chill and. I just went to go a military high school because I was a bad kid. Oh no! And I got bullied for being Jewish. <laughs> Jewish. Yeah. That sucks. I feel like it's it's really it sucks that people have to shame people. I for can't their even control that. And sexuality. I don't even I don't even believe in in God, and I still got bullied for being Jewish. Oh. I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, we all get bullied and it just... It, that's it, why I'm funny, I We think. can all come back years later and fuck and em. say, fuck you. Like, look, yeah. where are you? They're in Minnesota working at now. Applebee's. 
Exactly. You know, and it. I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that because that's why I actually started at Perkins. So is that like what's not Perkins? started started, but Perkins like is Applebee's? the Midwestern um, Applebee's. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, obviously nothing we wrong with it, there, but, but I don't think Marie anyone calendars think okay. of those pot pies. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with working at those places, but I don't think no, anyone. That's where I started. Up. I started at McDonald's yeah. even when I was 14. I don't even think a lot of people can work at the age of 14. Yeah, you got to have like so, a permit or something. Yeah, no, it was um, it was awesome. I was working at Walgreens and I was even a telemarketer at one point. So I did everything and I I just realized I wanted to do porn. I realized I just... You've always been a hard worker. I've always been, yeah, I've always been doing something. Like school, I realized was never really for me anyway. Like I skipped all the time. I was bad girl. Like I never went to class. I literally Kinda told what I would imagine. my dean to suck my invisible dick one day. <laughs> and he literally. probably wanted to. She. She probably <laughs> wanted to. <laughs> like <laughs> I got suspended. Like I honestly, I I didn't, I didn't care because I I learned from not to say like I'm a street girl, but like I learned from reality. Like yeah. I learned from the streets, you know. Like I learned from the people who literally walk by and. You know, like I listened, I listened, I kept my mouth shut. I didn't have headphones in all the time. If I did, I faked that I had new music on and Mm -hmm. I just listened to the world. And you know, it, it it made me a calmer person, made me feel more powerful because I can control my emotions. And what? If you combine it with weed, you'll be super calm. Yes. See, I suck all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's. No, it's a great life. I love I love what I do. I'm glad I did it. I don't regret it. Um, in fact, I I was really I was I was feeling I was going to regret going to school, going to college. Like after I graduate, did well, you go to college? What, what was going to be next? No, I didn't even graduate high yeah. school. Yeah, college so is such a waste. It. I was like thinking that, and I was like, yeah. why? Why would I want to go spend four years of my life wasting it just to go find out that I'm going to do something else? So when I got into this, little did I know so much more would become of it. Like I started, you know, the modeling and then so my title, you know, when someone randomly like on a plane, like where I'm going somewhere, someone when they ask you, what do you do for a living? It's always that question like, hmm, who am I today? You know, am I a model? Am yeah, I an you actress? Say am I you a want. dancer? Am I, do, you, uh, am I, do you get recognized a lot? Not really. Yeah. Not really. I have once, and ironically, it was like in an Uber, and it was like, okay, this is like the one place you don't want to get recognized. It was your driver. Yeah. Hilarious. And he told me after he dropped me off, he's like, oh, by the way, are you? I'm like, oh. At oh, least he, no. at least he waited so the car ride wasn't awkward. Um, it right? was more awkward after the fact, like, for some reason, because now I got out of the car, like, oh my god. What just happened? <laughs> Did you leave I would have gotten review? out of the car. I think I would have ended the car ride right then. I think. Yeah. So did you leave him a good review or a bad review? Oh, I, 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 I usually give people five stars unless they really do something to piss me off. <laughs> but you know what? We have our days. Yeah. Everyone's we have got our days. days. You know, how would I feel one day if, you know, I had a bad day and the male talent came up to director and said, never hire her again. Has that ever happened? No. Oh. I hope not. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> I mean, it's happened for me. I've had to do it for Ooh, you know, let's my, hear that. my Let's agent. hear that story. Um, you said to someone, I don't want to work with this male talent ever again. Female, male talent. Um, actually, there was this this case where it was a female talent. And oh, my. I. What was wrong with her? Well, I just didn't like her attitude. I had lived in the model house with her. And you knew it her just ahead of got time. into a just... Can I say caddy? You could say caddy. Yeah. You, I don't you know. Guys, so just, prior to the scene. She, just because she was there before, she she felt she was superior to every model. Got and it. And that she just made everything complicated for the new girls. It's like, we're new. We're coming out of state. We've never been here before. We don't know what we're necessarily doing. We want someone to guide us, not stomp on us. And so she did that. So it just got me in this, like, I never want to work with this like type mode and one day my agent is known for this yeah god love him but oh my god he booked me with her 
in my own agency. He's known for booking people that don't like each other? No, he's known to miss book. Oh, miss book, got it. I suppose like he's yeah. double make booked mistakes. me. Yeah. yeah, he's he's made to he's known to make mistakes, so he booked me one day with her without realizing she was on my no list. And of course, being the trooper that I am, I went on set you're like, I'll give it a shot. The director you know had Fuck no it. idea either. Yeah. Like, because obviously my agent had no idea because yeah. clearly he didn't look at the sheet. And yeah, um, I just kind of pulled the director to the side and I was like, hey, um, I don't know if you know this or not. Clearly you don't. This girl's on my no list. Oh my God. We will send her home right now. Oh my God. Don't do that for me. Like, I love you. Like, oh my, I feel so, I so, I feel so blessed for you to think of me like that. But at the time, she hadn't been getting much work, and I had known, and I just, you know, I felt bad, like, you know, if he was literally about to send her home and not let her get the money from the scene. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to fuck up another girl's money. Yeah. Like, so I thought, you know, I just, I put it down. I was like, fuck it, let's do it. So we changed the whole scene, I like, the idea and everything, and I just, I was like, luckily it was a threesome, there was another girl, and I just, I focused on her, and it was good, and I just, you know, obviously now I look at that scene like, why, why? You hate that scene. But <laughs> it, it, you know, it deep down goes to the value of the person I am, and if that it doesn't show you that I'm a good person, then I don't know what time. Yeah, you sucked <laughs> it up. Not to my you own You sucked heart. it up and you had <laughs> sex with a girl you didn't like. <laughs> Yeah, her. well, that's, you know, and uh, okay, so here is a, a tip for a lot of male fans. Like, I get so many emails. How do I get into porn? That's the key. You got to be able to fuck a girl you're not attracted to. It's not all. Yeah. It's not all that. And you can't use you know, uh, Viagra to do it, or can you? I don't know. You know, in, in some, you know, it's just you know you're attracted to one thing and you get booked with another thing and it's just you you got to do it because that's your job it's your job you know and i luckily i love it i love everything i love variety i love bbc i love i love girls i love everything and and that's you know for me so that's good because you you enjoy going to work now you said you get asked from guys all the time how to get into the industry do you get yeah. asked from girls as well i do it's a lot easier for girls <laughs> um, how would you what would you say to katie if katie said she wanted to get um, in the industry oh, it's easy honestly it's do you want to get in the industry you, katie are you more focused on getting into like major productions like major companies or just to make your own money um i mean currently i just kind of sell tit pics on instagram and you do that i didn't yeah, know that and my underwear you sell your underwear and tit pics yeah i didn't know that you're, you're wild. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, no, that's that's a great start. That's pretty much how a lot of girls should get started, um, because a lot of it now is about self, you know, like self-made. You yeah, know? like you build it, it, they will come. Yeah. All so, over you. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Like back in the day, it used to be like you're not working unless if you're working with a company. Right. You now you're working. You can work. On anything on oh, camera. Oh, and now you have a now you have a company. So if you're a girl, hit mm-hmm. Jillian up. Yes. So um, for me, that's that's as easy for when it comes to girls. It's as easy as hey, okay, go get tested. Let's that's try it. it out. That's it. That's it. for women. It's that's easy cool. for guys. It's it's <laughs> not like it's, not, it's a okay, lot more. It's I'm more not gonna competitive. Just, yeah, drop your pants. Let me just fuck anybody anytime. You just because you're tested. It's no like I. I'm a very busy girl. I also like a certain amount of satisfaction. And the male performers are professional. They know how to give it to me. And I get frustrated sometimes when, yes, I understand newcomers. Um, but sometimes it's it's frustrating when they don't know certain things, when, when they feel like they know it all when I've been in the business longer. Right. What's something that... What's the most common thing, uh, not even in porn, but just a man doesn't do sexually? This is a good question. What's a tip for a... A good old-fashioned finger fuck. Just pre... You don't focus on the... Foreplay. 
More foreplay. foreplay. What I was, I, I actually was talking to a sex panther last night what, about this. What is a, a sex half panther? Hour on textjillian.com. A sex panther is. Oh, sex panther is the site. A sexter, it. sex calling or sex texting. Okay. So I mentioned to you this. Literally, we talked for a half hour. That's how much I like to conversate and stuff. And he um, asked me um, the same general idea question yeah. and. I happen to say, like, a lot of guys focus on trying to make the girls come. Try not to make us come. Try just to make it long. Try Four not play. to make us come. Yeah. Like, don't even think about it. Don't focus on it. Don't even think about it. Like, the minute that comes to mind, it's done for us. We want to move on. Right. Like, we, you know, it's a different, you know, feeling for us. You know, when you're taking your time, you... You, you know, you caress down my neck and, and, and actually go to the tits and take the time and, and flick your tongue and, and grab them. We actually like to feel grabbed and, and we just want to feel it. And I like to feel grabbed. Yeah. So yeah. it's just, you know, simple stuff like that, you know, just not forgetting that we like the simple things and it's not always about finishing, you right. know, um, Sometimes, of course, when I'm really busy, I've got my moments where I just want a quickie. Yeah. But, you know, I'd rather, the more you focus on... You are busy. Just your We've tongue. rescheduled this podcast more I than know. any other guest I've ever done. get rescheduled again. Right? Because... That's so funny. I almost went to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> went to my favorite comedy yeah. club, the past city nights. Went so. to the wrong location. It's all good. But Shit happens. You're busy. <laughs> it gave me... It, no, it's surprised. Yeah. Surprisingly... I get a lot more done when I'm being driven around. Oh, so, so it gave you time to handle me, shit. It gave me time to handle some things. Right. Um, but yeah, mainly focusing on my upcoming features. Um, I have another gig um, at Headlights in Virginia on the 13th through the 15th, I believe. Do you get, is it like a door deal? Where if m the more people that come to see you, the more you get paid. Oh well, because that's how it is for comics too. For it's not like a flat rate. Well, yeah. I mean, well, everyone has the strip club has their cover charge, of course, uh -huh. you know. And then you go on. I go on stage, and they throw whatever they want on me. Right. Preferably make it rain. Right. Of course. And afterwards, they can do lap dance with me, or buy my movies, right. get a photo with me, all that. Right. You know, and then at the how much, how much end does it cost of the weekend, for a I lap get dance a from club you. check. How much so. does it cost? Because the normal lap dance, what, 20 bucks? How much is a lap dance? Yeah, usually how, it's 20 bucks. So how much is a lap dance from a, a porn star? I don't want to give away a feature. Oh, got it. my Secret. prices okay. because some girls are higher, some are lower. Oh, smart, smart. Um, but okay, but it can you range set your own prices. From, yeah, it can range yeah. from 100 to $500. Okay, wow. Depending on... A for a song, dance a, just a dance for a song that's tight. um some girls will do three songs for 500 or so would you say those are deals or like there's a champagne room so we'll charge way more because right. they'll charge like maybe two three hundred more intimate more private. A half hour room and we'll yeah. charge the normal i guess what we say is we usually charge double if not three times as the normal house rate got it so would you say the average person that comes to see you they're obviously all your fans but no not always some have never heard me before. okay some okay so there, it's a mix of people would you say the average person has a lot of money or saved up money to have a great night uh, a little bit of both a lot of people yeah. people come for like bachelor parties mm -hmm. and stuff so of course i'm sure they're going home the next day like oh my god i just spent a lot of money but oh my god i'm in a porn star right so it's always it, it weighs you know yeah you know some people are literally just there to spend money, you know, and then you've got, you know, the guys in the club that don't spend anything, right. you know, the and they skates. just want to spend time with you and talk to you, which is fine, which I love. I love, that's why I love the texting because I get more time. Even I can be cooking a meal and still be talking to you at the same time. Mm -hmm. I can multitask and get more stuff done, but at a strip club, like, I, I got, we got to give other people opportunity to come up and say hi, even right. if it's just for a picture. Right. You know, which. Yeah. You got to be good to your fans because they're good to you. Yeah. So I, I like to, you know, satisfy 
everyone's needs than my own and and sometimes you can't you can't do it all so you know um that's why i have i have help you know when i realized your, your friend your best yeah, friend from I, florida i did featuring alone for a while just you know to it's get lonely my, my bearings and and then one day i was in new york my first time ever at sapphire which i'll be there december 20th or 21st for um one night um at sapphire 39 but my first sapphire i was so excited but i was so nervous it was new york yeah and, I watched a and lot, you're by yourself a law a law and order <laughs> and and so I was nervous, so I called a few of my friends to come up and, you know, support me and and then they ended up helping me with, you know, the the money, like, you know, grabbing it all so I I didn't have to worry about grabbing it That's good. and counting it while trying also to take a picture, while I was trying to sign this and do a lap dance and yeah, so I realized like it, it You was, need a little bit of a it team. Was helpful. So then the next time when I was booked at the club I went alone. And I dreaded it. I ha- I just I, I hated the fact that I was alone, that I had all that help before, and that I felt like it was hurting my money, and I wasn't able to talk to as many fans as I I could have. So um, yeah, I I literally I hired him. And That's cool. It's good for you. Good for him. Yeah. You're and and it's funny. You created jobs. Yeah. <laughs> if you kind of want it, 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 if you call it a job, and in fact, you know, you help someone out, you don't get paid, you get paid in pussy. That's, you don't that's get paid pretty good. Money, get paid pussy. Say that, so. that co- to a lot of people, that does cost money. <laughs> exactly. There's two in the oh, same. Oh, yeah. One in the yep. same. Okay, I wrote some questions, and I think Katie did. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, right. Okay, question number one Do you think I have ever masturbated to you? Um, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, <laughs> you got yes. Do, what do you think? You got to guess yes or no. Um, are you a consistent masturbator? Uh, like two to three times a day. Okay, then yes. <laughs> that's consistent. That, that's, yeah, like you answered that. I mean, that was that's pretty much me when I'm alone and I just have my Hitachi. Like, right. I've, yeah, it depends I on the day. I burnt out my pussy. Like, <laughs> it literally is on, like... It depends on the day. Vacation. But yeah, if I'm alone. If I'm alone two or three times a day. Uh, okay, that's correct. What about Katie? Do you think Katie has ever masturbated to you? I feel like she has. <laughs> <laughs> Today I did. I, I did. like... Check out some of your work. I like I that for me... Ooh, out of all days. <laughs> I like that for me. She didn't know if I did. But for you, she, she was like, yeah, she definitely did. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh she God, looked you at you and she... automatically assume <laughs> guys or girls would know. Yeah. I don't know. For some That's reason, fine. when it comes to girls... Because Katie's a naughty girl. One time she <laughs> took a strap on and fucked a man. I've um, done that. More than once. Meanbitches.com. <laughs> Shout out to my friend Glenn. Com. I, um, Marcelo, I took a big black cock, like. <laughs> a fake black. Uh, of course. Uh, what's it, what of are they course. made out of? Uh, silicone. Silicone cock. Yeah, a silicone black cock. Yeah, so of course. It wasn't a real one. Maybe someday. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> they have, they'll have a surgery and for And oh that. my God, the way he loved it. Like, I couldn't even take it. <laughs> and I was just. I was so amazed and I was so turned on. I think just by the excitement of him enjoying it. It's it's nice know, to it's make different. people feel good. Yeah. It's not for me, but no judgment to the yeah. men out there who like yeah. um, silicon cocks in their butts. <laughs> and I do, you know, and I, I talk about, you know, I, I've gotten a few sex panthers lately too that you know, want to talk about stuff like that and it really right they i love it they get freaky yeah you could say they get freaky i like my freaky fans so yeah. you guys are out there sorry about the flies <laughs> it's okay um okay second question um how do they cgi the penis so far down your throat during the blowjob scenes what kind of software do they use to make it i have no idea um a lot of people use a lot of different things um naturally or with technology um, you leave that up to post production. That's not your department. Pretty much post production. You obviously you set it up and do it, you know, during production. But right, a lot of things that happen we don't really know. Yeah, what is going. You, I don't watch they my leave, porn. They leave things to you. Oh, you don't. That's interesting. I don't, I don't watch it afterwards. Like yeah, I'll watch the teasers and the trailers right. and. You know, I'll promote. My main thing is I love the photos. Like, I love yeah, photos, photos are for fun. me last forever. Like, yeah. videos will just get lost within the mix of 
millions. Right. You know, so. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. For me, like when it comes to scenes, I, I, I focus on the, you know, the, the photos. I make sure everything's perfect. My hair, my, <laughs> you know. Even like, now you look great. It looks like oh, you, you, uh, you. Do you have your makeup artist? Do no, I do you? it all myself. You yeah, no, know, like I don't have time for that. I learned it all myself. In fact, you will see from earlier scenes like how amateur I was. It was. Just but awful. some people probably like that. Oh God! Yeah. yeah no, I mean know, most people who come how here how are in sweatpants. Some so people it's good. like absolutely love some of my older scenes. <laughs> Yeah, they, it's it's like, fun to see I? the evolution. It's Thank fun you. to see the evolution of an I? artist. Thank um, okay, here's another question I have for you. So, you like you mentioned earlier, you're not just you don't just do porn. You dance. Correct. You are a model. You do acting. Yes. So when you're acting for a scene, is it? Because I do a little acting here and there as well for sketches and stuff. Yeah. When you're acting, but you know. That as soon as you're done acting, it leads into sex. Does that kind of make the acting even harder? Does it? Do you not even think about that? Like, how does that work? Well, why, while while no, you're like reading while you're your acting, lines, you're thinking yeah. of nothing but wanting to do the sex. Got it. So you're like you're, looking forward to it. Yeah, because yeah. um, you know, a lot of instances, you know, kind of why it builds. You know, that. I go to the factor, you know, earlier, like why I like the sensual, soft foreplay, take your time. You know, because when it is just the two of you, you know, it's a lot different than when there's a whole crew, you know, like you're what people are watching when they're watching, you know, they see the 36 minutes that was cut down. Yeah. That 36 minutes. Right. That, was that started an, an hour, hour and a half. Right. Two hours, sometimes even three, four. But we take breaks because. You know, um, there's certain companies that are focus more on the acting, more that focus on the fucking, and some that do a little bit of both. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah. That, no, that's that's that answered it perfectly. Perfect. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, okay, here's a good one. Do you have any inspirations when it comes to the porn entry? Like, do you ever watch a girl in a scene like sucking a dick, and you go, "I want to suck a dick like that"? Oh yeah. Who who have you seen? What's a what's a another actress you could say where you watch her and you go, she's incredible. Like I wish I could do that. It's I don't okay, so I don't do it. Like I don't go look up porno right. like and and search my friends because <laughs> I just don't. Yeah. But I see it when I'm right there. Oh, next got it. To in them. person, you're like, wow, that's great. Yeah, that's impressive. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna do that next time. Um, that's because so you learn tricks. Like Andrew from Fox, Jill Cassidy. Um, in fact, Jill Cassidy and I, we just got, um, nomination. Oh, I keep forgetting You're this good. is here. <laughs> we just got nominations for, um, swallowed. Congratulations. Com, volume 11 with Mike Adriano. And, um, I don't have it on me right now, but it's on my phone. Um, I got three nominations. This Congrats. Year the end. Yeah. Does that, does that make um, you feel like I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing? It, it did because 2018 I had a um, a rough year personally, so I won't get into it. Okay. But you can if it, you want. No. Okay. I <laughs> went into full like end of the year mode. Like, what did I show for? It? Like, what did I accomplish? And um, a lot of things came to mind, and of course, but to always end it or to tie the knot, you know, is um the avians and yeah it's the start of the year but it also it's the end of this right year, it wraps know? up it, the, it, yeah. it wraps it up and the nominations being known and recognized for it it's just a huge just like you said you know it's a relief just knowing that you know fans still appreciate me and still think about me and and to me <laughs> so it's it's good to be relevant still. Totally, yeah. You know, and to be kind of maybe at this time known like a veteran. <laughs> Five yeah, would, would years you in. Yeah, would you say, are you a veteran? I, for some people, they would say, yeah. Like, they look at me like, yeah, yeah, for sure. And some people would say, And no. I'm just like, well, I'm, like me. I, I'm like, I, maybe in two years, like, it's a little closer. And then obviously 10 years. Do is, you get nervous before scenes or are you super comfortable now no i'm super comfortable now yeah, you don't get I, nervous. because when i initiate like going to the scene 
kind of like you know, obviously talking to the directors and making sure like hey can i you know snapchat or record or whatever you know when i go in there initiating like um my own filming it puts me in a whole different mentality yeah. like i get like oh i get this done this done this done but i also like for me but i also number one more important than anything is making sure that i'm doing everything that the company needs and you know so i'm very professional very you know um very careful you know because i i remember back in the day when we first started and social media wasn't like a huge part of like our careers and or it, it had just just right been it was starting, starting but it wasn't quite what it is now yeah now it's like everything yeah yeah and you know social media yeah it i don't know things were different back then so but now i don't know where i was going with this <laughs> you're comfortable totally, yeah yeah totally so that's good that's but great. oh yeah companies were pre- pretty much like oh, i'm so glad you don't you're not always on your phone all the time and you know like because i just kind of like I said with, you know, earlier on in life, I just kind of sat with, you know, watched the world and listened and, you know, same with industry. I, I saw a lot of girls do things and I learned from them without really needing to ask them anything. I just kind of like saw that and wanted to kind of like tweak it, not copy it, but tweak it. Sure. You know, and then. Yeah, you learn. That's all it is. Exactly. You're, you're growing from each other. I'm sure yeah. people have picked up tricks from you as well. I, yeah, I would, I would like to think so. Uh, Katie, do you have any questions? I do have a few questions. Um, I know you said like you kind of got bullied when people found out about it, but what, when people who are close to you, like your friends and your family, how did they react when you're like, I'm about to be a porn star? Oh, my mom has been supportive even to this day. My sister as well. Uh, my dad was never really in my life, so okay. I really don't give a crap what he thinks. Got it. But he totally like disowned me. Damn. Yeah, he was, I, you know, I guess in his eyes, the one year that I stayed with him um, to kind of get, you know, bearings and kind of see, like, how it was going to go, it was really strict on me, which I needed because it. I feel like that's where a lot of my motivation comes to being, you know, like, I, I grew, so one side of my family, unfortunate, other side, very fortunate. So I grew up on the very unfortunate side Sorry. unfortunately yeah. but when i spent that one year on the fortunate side i just i realized life i realized i don't want to struggle i don't want to be where my mom is yeah you know and even though she's in a much 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 better place now i just wanted a different life for there's me there's nothing wrong with wanting a nice place so, to live nice clothes nice food yeah. there's nothing wrong with being financially secure yeah and being happy yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't, I don't find, you know, any heartbreak in, you know, my dad doing Got what it. he did. In fact, he was really big dick about it. You know, he blamed my mom, pretty much called me a prostitute, and, um, yeah, blamed her for a lot of things, and it was just... And now like, he's just out. He's been like out. Did, since like, what about who you spend Thanksgiving with? And and I, I spend it with my best friend. Okay. So, um, you know, like, but I'm still really close to the rest of that side of the family. Got it. Just you not know, the like dad. my aunts and stuff, and you know, his sisters, and yeah. So and maybe know, he'll come around. Who knows? Maybe he just needs very some time. Important to me, and one day I want to <laughs> rekindle it. But yeah. for me, I feel like. He would ruin a lot of things right now for me if he was to some reason come out of my life. Now, if it was a bad reason, you know, I'm not a cold hearted bitch. I'm not one to say if he was on his deathbed that I wouldn't go see him because I would. Of course. He's I your would, dad. I would go tell him how I felt, of course. Families sometimes are real close. Yeah. Sometimes they're farther apart. They come and go. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That. That's, so that's it's more common than you think, whether mm-hmm. you're in porn or not. Yes, I, I've had exactly. I've had problems with my mom, that's yep. for sure. And yeah, but it makes us who we thing. are. You know, it yeah. just we learn from it, we grow from it, and we 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 base our other relationships off of it. You yeah, know, whether absolutely. we're gonna do it or not do it, and yeah, we just become stronger. You know, and I just 
I feel like I wouldn't be able to do half the things I'm able to do if I, you know, had my dad around, you know? So, you know, like I love to do a lot of the daddy scenes. Oh, right. I can't do the incest daddy, you know, like if my dad was literally in my life. (laughs) But then again, I do a lot of the mommy and me and my mom is constantly in my life. Yeah, that's true. And I only had one thought and it was like really recent actually where I literally had to say, you like that mommy? Oh, mommy, give it to me. <laughs> like, really creepy. And <laughs> my mom flashed through my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you so had to weird. say, cut, let's take but a you know five-minute break. It's not bizarre for me. My mom, God, heavens, I don't want to give out too much about my mom. <laughs> but she is the reason I am where I am. Yeah, she's great. Not only obviously birthing me, but she started um, working with sex toys with a company called Pure Romance back in the day. And she had a box sent to the the house and it had a bunch of stuff in it. And of course, one day I don't I don't ask my mom permission to go through <laughs> her boxes. So I just go through her box and I ask her, what's this? And she's like, oh, and she just went out flat out, told me everything like, oh, so I started, you know, sale, you know, doing sales and stuff and this and that. She was in between a lot of different jobs because she wanted to. She yeah. It's not because she was fired all the time or whatever. She literally got a job, liked it one minute and the next minute she hated it <laughs> got and bored. watched the next. So yeah. I think that's why I love to be so. You know, I love so many things at once because I don't want that to happen. I don't want to just be done with something and move on. I want so many things that I'm (laughs) satisfied. So anyway, I found the box and decided to use some of the toys. They're brand new. Even use some and put them back like they were fresh. (laughs) (laughs) My mom never knew. Left the next person a little treat. She didn't even know that I used the Hitachi as an actual toy. She used it for her back. (laughs) So, but you know, it's like I I always knew, like, my mom was always. How old were you when you found this box? 11, 12. Yeah, yeah, very young. So I'm young. I, I, I already know how to use a vibrating dildo. Like, you know, so I just. I asked my mom questions and she kind answered. of like she was and honest. That opened up Pandora's box. It's better literally. than lying. You don't want to lie to your kid. Uh, yeah. What kind of mom lies to their so daughter? My mom, you know, she she was never with my dad. Never, ever. One night stand. <laughs> so and except then, for the time she got you. <laughs> right. So then dated other guys, blah, blah blah. And then finally she settled down with one man for like twelve years. And we were good, all set up like a little family. And then all of a sudden they broke up divorce whatever she said she wasn't happy with him and she ended up moving on from guy to guy to guy and she told me about him all yeah. every single thing like so i learned through my mom what i liked what i figured i would like and what i figured i wouldn't like yeah so i just my mom literally even showed me pictures one day i'm just like ma what are you <laughs> doing <laughs> like i'm your child Open, Ooh, that's open a big pan- cock. Open pan- <laughs> <laughs> literally. I am glad my mom does not do that. With me, I have to <laughs> say, I'm being, I'm being honest. They're still my parents are still together, but I'm glad they don't talk about that stuff. With yeah, me. I know my mom. <laughs> we're we are so open about everything. She's awesome. One day, I was going through her computer and I accidentally clicked on the wrong file and i saw my mom's own like vagina i was like what the fuck like what am i doing and, I, and is then your I, mom hot at some reason at, at some point i was comfortable with it like not comfortable like not thinking about it but like you're just used to i it. just saw my mom's vagina it's actually kind of nice <laughs> it looks like mine i know where i got it from yeah you got a hot mom then yeah she is i, I do like my mom she is um when i had bangs at one point, like two years ago, blonde hair and bangs. I looked identical to her. Yeah. There you go. That, that puts my a fantasy out there for a lot of listeners. My sister looks literally nothing like her. So <laughs> She looks good in her own way. <laughs> oh, yeah. She Do you does. have any <laughs> other questions, Katie? Um, yeah. So have you always been a squirter or is that something that you had to kind of be self-taught? Because I'm trying to learn myself and 
It just happened. <laughs> I was actually, I was fucking this guy. I was like, what are we, 14 or something? I don't know. And fucking this guy on the pool table. And the first thing we ever did, actually, same night, of course, he had one of those weight benches that you sit back on and you weigh, lift yeah. like that. Well, he sat me back and then he pulled out handcuffs. And it was the first time I ever got tied down. And wow. I loved it. And it was so awesome. And then um, I remember him, you know, and doing, you know, the handcuffs and taking me to the pool table. And I remember it being obviously uncomfortable because, like, the pool table was rubbing on my knees. But we were going so fast and so hard. And I told him, stop, get out. I got to pee. <laughs> and he was like, no. No, stay and he's just like we went faster and I was just like, Oh my god, what are you doing? I gotta be I just like came out like I couldn't stop myself. He was like, Oh my god, it's so hot. I'm like, what just happened? I just pissed myself. Like, why did you just do this to me? What about the pool table? They have to refelt oh, the no, top. He, oh dude, no, he was so happy about it. He just okay. he was like, Oh, just leave it. Just leave it. I was like, Oh my god, oh, what just happened? Guy. He was like, You squirted. I was like Really? So no guy before porn besides him had ever been had ever been able to do that until I found out I could do it myself in the shower. And that's the dream. Oh my god, I just lifted my leg up <laughs> and I went like this and then I went like this. And it happened. And then like all of a sudden I'm getting a, I backed uh, away from that. Come film this. I backed away from the shower and it wasn't the shower. So I was like, oh, woo. Ah! And then I. I'm going to need to go take a cold shower after right? this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know. I just I didn't really realize like what, you know, like, OK, I could do it myself now, but why can't a cock do it? <laughs> so I realized like I have to be on top and like riding a certain <laughs> way or something like or I have to be spread excuse me, back, and I have to still do the yeah. the clit rubbing. So the, the one time it happened on set, again, the very first time it had happened since the time on the pool table, Tony Rebus just went to town like this on my G-spot. like, And it was just, it kind of like hurt because I felt like he was just like going so hard, like literally jabbing me. But... I just let it go and it, it felt amazing. Like I didn't, I didn't even think about like that other feeling. I, I felt, you know, when like you're going so hard and rough, like in that moment, you know, and then when you're done, you're just done. <laughs> you're just done. Every time. That's every time for me. <laughs> yeah. For me, I get more energy for some reason. I heard this silly thing. Oh my God. A few years ago, this girl told me, I don't, I don't know if she was joking or she was for real, but she was like, did you know? That every time a guy comes in you, he's taking out his testosterone and putting it in you. <laughs> what? I'm like. She was a scientist, right? You mean like, um, no, honey. But I oh, mean, I get what you mean by like, obviously, like he's got all the energy and you suck it out of him. And, you know, it might give it to you. But like, it has nothing. I, I don't get it. What did this girl do as a professional? Was she a teacher? No, or? she was literally on set with me. Oh, she was another actress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe, so not to maybe stick to stick to porn. To yeah. That day. Yeah. But a lot of times maybe. people come in here. Yeah. And I give them, adv I give them unlicensed advice. Um, it could, it might help you. It might ruin your life. We'll see. I, I'm thinking about a million dollar fucking condo right. and at least two bedrooms. I can't do anything less. Yeah. And I don't know, it's it's important for me to get the space that I need so I can shoot from my own place. Right. You know, I want to shoot porn in my living room and I could me do it too. now, but it's just I'm very, very picky about my my background and, mm -hmm. you know, like how things look and you want the set to look nice and you don't want to put money into a place you're renting. And exactly a place that I call home. You know, like if I don't have a separate room that's just for porn and I can, you know, have that as just my my workspace and be able to put pictures up 
in the rest of the house mm -hmm. and be okay with not having to worry about taking them down every time I do a video. Right. You know, like, cause I am that person. I like to, you know, showcase my love around totally. my own house. Like, yeah, I, you want a, a workspace and a separate so place much, to live. Like I haven't made any place feel like home yet. So it's hard. Okay. Here's my advice for buying a house, even though your mom already gave you a <laughs> or for a condo. So try and find a place with a low HOA fee mm -hmm. because that way, you know, you don't have that that bill to worry about each month. Yeah. You have a much I'd lower bill. I'd rather pay a bunch up front yeah, than having exactly. to pay a bunch each. Exactly. Each so so that low HOA fee. And then even if you do a 10% down deposit, whatever deposit you do, no matter what you do, try and pay off the house as fast as you possibly yeah. can. So even if your mortgage is two grand a month, but you had a great month that month, put in extra. Yeah. Put in four. Exactly. Pay it off as fast as you can so you own it you're not thinking about it you're living for free it's just a big stress reliever and that's yeah, how millionaires you're pay, are made you pay that a thousand a hundred thousand dollars up front mm -hmm. but yet you still have nine hundred thousand to go exactly and it's easy so. to go well i'm just gonna pay the mortgage but no if you have a good month think about when you're gonna have a bad month or when you're gonna take a yeah. month off or when your dog dies, well, whatever happens. Well, in this happens. industry, you never know what's going to happen. Exactly. Like, we get moratoriums all the time. And exactly. I could be, luckily, because I have feature dancing, I could call up my agents and say, hey, like, there's a moratorium. I need to, I need to work this weekend. Book me anywhere. It can be yeah. in Timbuktu. <laughs> so I have that power, I, I suppose. But yeah, yeah not, a, not everyone does. Brand new girls getting in the industry, just setting themselves up. Nothing. Yeah. Unless it's obviously they came from, you know other you know other degrees and other places and education sure. and stuff but like if you're me if you dropped out of high school and you don't have a degree in anything at yeah. all like you didn't i even have a degree and it's worthless yeah so it does do <laughs> shit even if you have a degree yeah. it's worthless so <laughs> it's, okay so now um we're gonna take some callers lars frugar hi my name is lars so i'm asking for some advice i have a crazy ex who keeps on basically haunting me and I say haunting because it's everywhere I go, I feel like I run into her. Or even on Facebook, she's totally commenting all the time, emails, sending me emails about how much she's missing me. Um, I had to block her phone number because she kept on texting me and calling me. And it's just become to a place where I feel almost unsafe. And I don't know, maybe she's going to do something crazy. So can you help me? How do I set boundaries? Sounds like she just loves you, dude. Let her in. Now, what do you think? <laughs> or call the cops. <laughs> call the cops. Shit. Um, <laughs> honestly, I I say that's my best advice. <laughs> <laughs> call the cops. There you go. <laughs> no. Um, if if you really feel like she's you know like a threat, you know, I would definitely seek out some help, some professional help, because. You don't want to be that person on the news that is dead. <laughs> like, yeah, from some crazy from bitch. From some crazy bitch that you could have, you know, just simply, like, called the cops on her and they would have taken care of her. Um, don't try to take care of it yourself, you know, because that's also another reason people end up dead, I guess. Yeah, and then um, it's all he said, she said shit. Yeah, get out there. Get, yeah. up, get on it ahead of time so you don't get me yeah. too. We're in a crazy me too world. And she, get, she might get mad yes. at you and just get you in trouble. Even so put it you, out there on paper. It's un unfortunate, but even the trustworthiness of if cops nowadays, you can't, you can't yeah. trust. You can't trust anything. You know, so I would just still keep your distance. Mm, you know, don't try to literally the moment you try to reach out to her and say, hey, leave me alone. It's just going to get more and more constant and more annoying. So literally just completely block it out of your mind. Of It seems like you already did that out of your phone. Just keep doing it. Um, I know some people are to that fact where they will keep getting a new number because they have all, all the new apps and stuff out there. That yeah. Disguise. So easy. Google voice. So, um, me, even for instance, like just in general, yeah, like you I probably get a lot have of stalkers. calls yeah. that I don't like, and it's robo calls. That's what it is. It's, you know, the minute my phone is registered in some kind of site, they automatically, you know, so always screen your calls. Always. I do that. So it's really important just because you want to know who you're talking to. I felt like an idiot earlier. Like I answered my phone and I knew it was going to be an automated call. <laughs> and, it and it's so stupid because it, 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 you don't think about it. But even if you do answer those calls, just that that 
one second that you answer, you're making whoever just called you money. Right. And then they're going to keep calling. And they're going to keep calling. All right. We'll take one more call. This is from uh, Jim Donnelly. <clears throat> Hello. I'm really frustrated. I feel like I'm in a financial riptide. Graduated from a good college with a BA in economics. I was an honor student. Worthless. I still couldn't get a decent job. I decided to call the hiring managers I interviewed with to see how I compared. They said I was their second choice. First choice had more experience than me. I worked 70 to 80 hours a week on two low-paying jobs just to survive. Then I got sick. It took a year to pay the medical bills. I'm worn out, depressed. Feels like a losing battle. All right. That yeah, sucks. that's that's hard. You know, because that's unfortunately what you know a lot of people face. You know, what we happened to be talking about earlier is how you can go to school and get a degree, and it won't yeah. even matter these days. So yeah, it's um, too bad. You know, and it's hard, especially at that point in your life. It's hard to go back and restart. You know, or he sounded old too. That guy. Yeah. I don't know how old he was. He sounded like he was in his fifties at least. At least, you know, it, it, you know, well, some, yeah, he mentioned a lot of things that kind of gave it away. Um, and, you know, that experience is amazing. It's great. But where is it really going to get you? You know, like now, you know, this economy is different and you have to find other ways to survive. So, yes, economics is important to understand. But what do you really do with it? what i mean you could maybe go back and maybe teach other people about it that's become not a, bad yeah become, become a, a teacher professor or teacher or even you know people need a tutor you know need some that there's like special uh centers you know help like sylvan yeah like sylvan learning center with you know learning GEDs. and you know so you can just volunteer you know and maybe just Become, you know, an intern or something somewhere and, and just start might somewhere. might be too old for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, though? I was, just yeah, I was going to say something similar. Uh, start a side hustle. You said you worked for yeah. two low-paying jobs. Instead, start teaching, start doing tutoring, start a business, start something where you're making money on your own and see if you could grow that. Take, yeah. the, take the responsibility out of the hands of finding a good job and make yourself that job. And if you really want to use you know economics make a website and you know tell the world about economics yeah you know it'll it'll get people to ask questions and then who knows it'll lead into a new discovery and and you just never know i guess when it comes to you, your future you just little odds and ends you know there's still gonna be a lot of those but I guess to find something that's more permanent, you know, if you want to help people or, you know, think about something else. Yeah. You know, um, then, well, thanks for being on the podcast. Thanks for giving course. advice to people. I really appreciate it. It was great to meet you. And also you can follow Jillian on her social media and her website, yes. which is, I have Twitter and Instagram. The Twitter is, XO Jillian Jansen and the Instagram is Jillian Jansen XO and my website is Jillian Jansen triple X dot com amongst that site are many others great um, so follow her on there and, and you can check out her new company that she's starting and filming yeah. and then you could follow Katie at at Katie Trinilia Katie Trinilia C-E-R-N-I-G-L-I-A and then, of course, follow me at Ari Manis for all the latest updates. Oh, one final question I forgot to ask about. You know how they banned uh, condoms? Or no, they how they forced people to use condoms. Remember yes. that big California ballot? So how are people getting around that now in porn? Or are they just ignoring it? <laughs> um, people are going to do what they want right. until the law finds out. Right. It's gray area. That God, I was I was just wondering because I remember oh, that was like a big deal, but then it was. Yeah. You know, it, and in, in fact, the that's time. the only yeah. kind of politics I've ever been involved with or even cared about. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to know what's going yeah. on. Who cares? I've got a lot of my own shit going on. <laughs> totally. 
<laughs> yeah, for me to wake up every morning and get, get depressed or upset or mad because someone's doing this and someone's not doing that, it it baffles me why people just let that ruin their days, I agree weeks, 100%. months, yep. years. It just ruins everything. And it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again for being on the podcast. Hope you Thank have a great you. rest of your evening. Of thanks, course. Katie. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye.